Hello everyone, this is LEGO Toby, and today I will be doing a LEGO set review on the LEGO Star Wars Dark Trooper Attack Set. The set number for this LEGO set is 75324, and this set has four minifigs, or should have four minifigs. Unfortunately, I'm missing a couple of my Dark Trooper minifigs as of recording this video, though. And this set has 166 pieces, and the original retail price for the set back when it released in March of 2022 was $30, but thanks to the price rises, it's now $35, which is a bit pricey for what it is, and I don't think $35 is entirely warranted. $30 is also a bit much, but not that bad. So, aside from that, yeah, let's get into the official set itself. And the first minifig we have here is Luke Skywalker, which is an exclusive minifigure to the set as of right now, just for the torso printing alone, I believe. So... And, um, like, removing his, like, head and his cape, you can see the back of his torso printing as well. Um, we also get some decent leg printing, and again, Luke Skywalker does indeed come with, well, a cape, as expected. We also get, um, a normal front and back face print, and unfortunately this is nothing new at all because this is used in pretty much almost every Luke Skywalker minifig since 2016, I want to say. Maybe 2017, I'm not entirely sure, honestly. And um, he also has no hair piece. Instead, he has the uh, hood piece that was first introduced with the Emperor Palpatine minifig in 2019. Actually, I actually think it was Obi-Wan Kenobi where they first used that piece. Otherwise, still a decent minifig. And then we also have the uh, a dark trooper, which you again you only you get three of them in this set. Unfortunately, I managed to somehow find one. And this minifig was actually first introduced with the Imperial Light Cruiser, also based off of the Mandalorian season two. And uh, th this minifig has a really uniquely molded helmet piece I really like, and the head printing is really cool as well. Here is some back head printing as well. And there's even this um, interesting, like, armor piece that has printing. Uh, this is what it looks like on the back. And, yeah, it's a pretty cool arm printing. And, of course, his main accessory is a typical blaster build, except in uh, black. And, of course, we get some decent torso and leg printing. And here's what the back of the torso printing looks like. So, yeah, quite a bit of interesting stuff to be said about the Dark Trooper minifigs. And overall, really great opportunity to army build with these guys. Again, though, this is the only one I somehow managed to find. I somehow lost the other two Dark Trooper minifigs. But aside from that Dark Trooper, yeah, let's get into the build of the set itself. And you know what? I gotta say, I really like this build personally i really do honestly i think this build turned out really good for what it is like i love this hallway design and i really want to see more sets like this and this is just really great for like stop motion as well like if you plan to do stop motion like i do like like just look at this like like it's just really it's just a cool like stop motion set like it, it it's not a bad background for what it is since you do get like a little bit of like wall here as well and we even have this interesting elevator feature where you can grab luke skywalker and unfortunately i have to take his lightsaber out of him in order to activate the play feature you can actually uh spin like the elevator door around and then you can like do this and whoops um sorry about that um, was bending the pieces a bit there, but, yeah, um, really cool play feature, I'd say, and, um, yeah, it's a really solid play feature, not the most original play feature out there, but still a pretty solid one either way, and, yeah, I really like that, and that's, and we also have a few more interesting play features in this build, such as, for example, over here, you can place a Dark Trooper there, I'll place Luke Skywalker here, and you can literally just have uh, Luke Skywalker pretty much, like, use the Force. Oops, did not mean to knock down the Dark Trooper. That was obviously not the play feature. But you can just place Luke Skywalker there and have him pretend to, like, do the Force on the Dark Trooper. And, like, like literally just set him back all the way over there. So, that's a really neat play feature. Another thing you can do here is pretty much ha uh, have the Dark Trooper go here. Or, actually, no, that's uh, Luke Skywalker supposed to go here. And, um, 
yeah, down over here, you can actually, there's actually this spinning feature where, like, Luke Skywalker can pretty much, like, uh, like, spin around in circles, and actually, if an unlucky dark trooper is there, well, um, hoping this play feature, oh gosh, actually, Luke Skywalker ended up getting knocked down, let's just try that again, yeah, okay, maybe that's not going as well as I initially thought, but, yeah, that's pretty much all the play features of the set and everything I have to say, really. So now let's take a look at the instructions booklet, which I gotta say, I heard they're actually making some changes to where they w they're not really going to show, like, the same picture as the Lego set box art on instructions booklet covers anymore, and so it's just going to be a more uh, blueprint-style instructions, which is kind of boring, I'd say, and not really well done. So... We have over here the advertisements for all this uh, 2021 Mandalorian sets, except for this one because this is a 2022 Mandalorian set. But of course, we have the Imperial Armored Marauder, which I reviewed, as well as the Trouble on Tatooine, Boba Fett Starship, and the Imperial Light Cruiser. And over here, we have all the uh, Winter 2022 LEGO Star Wars sets featuring the Snow Troopers Battle Pack, the Mandalorian uh, Razor Crest Micro Fighter, the ATST Hoth ATST Walker, and for some reason this set again, I don't know why they're willing to advertise for it again, and uh, yeah, there's no advertisement for the minifigure selection for those sets. So, yeah, what do I think of this set? Well, um, aside from the fact I'm definitely missing a few pieces to the set already, yeah, this is a really good set in my opinion, I'd say. And honestly, as of right now, my personal favorite LEGO Star Wars set from this year in 2022, I do currently own. Like, the idea of a Dark Trooper battle pack is so cool in my opinion. And, like, they're just cool characters in general in my opinion. And even though they weren't used much in The Mandalorian, they are still really cool army builders of the way with some awesome pieces. This is a great way to get more of those. But not only that, we also get a bit of a elaborate hallway display build, which is so cool as well in my opinion. And again, I just want to see more LEGO sets like this. And the, Luke's, and the Luke Skywalker minifigure is, again, a pretty great inclusion, albeit not the most interesting of minifigs. Still a really great one either way, and I also really love this set personally, because it's also based off of my favorite scene from my favorite episode of The Mandalorian, where Luke Skywalker pretty much comes in and like takes out all the Dark Troopers, and this LEGO set executes that scene really, really well in my opinion, and the play features are well done, and yeah, it's a really great set, and overall... Like, I really like this set. The overall accuracy and the build, like, the build is just so great and well done. And though the price may not be the greatest, it's still a pretty good set either way. And personally, I'm going to go ahead and give this a 2.5 star rating. This is definitely a LEGO set I would personally recommend, especially if you are a fan, like myself, of the Season 2 finale of The Mandalorian. So, yeah, that's pretty much my review of the LEGO Star Wars Dark Trooper Attack set. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.